including his family, feel that they're trying to kill him. So it's a very serious situation, and we're trying to, uh, his wife and uh, other people have been calling for people to please call these numbers, there are papers at the back, to put pressure on the prison so that he can see his own doctor, you know, a specialist, as opposed to the, the prison doctor who has allowed, well, who has been involved in, in the deterioration of his health. So anybody, please, who has some commitment to Mumia, he's, he's, he's into anti-racism. I mean, he is one of the most serious organizers that we know, and one of the most deserving of our support. So please, just do that. The second thing is that the petition that some are referred to, a living wage for mothers and other carers, has been circulating, and we're collecting signatures. Again, at the back, uh, so if you could if you could give them in if you want to sign them <coughs> and also uh, the ASPRO, the US Prostitutes Collective is circulating a um, we are supporting a bill but with certain amendments it's to do with compensation and we want compensation to be extended there are various there are various obstacles to compensation, not only for sex workers, but also for formerly incarcerated people or people who have a felony offense, etc. And we want all that discrimination to go. The bill is going, is beginning, it's, look, I don't know about the story here in, in the US, but it's, it's beginning to go through the state on Tuesday. So if you could go to the table at the back and leave your name so that they could be included in the support. Okay, we want some of it and we can win all of it if we get enough support. Thank you.